Hello everybody, Taylor with Bye Bike Boston here. So today, I'm just putting up a video because I got my first second place in a Swift race and I thought it might be fun to detail it. Um, also, it's ridiculous that in a Cat D race, which if you watch Lionel Sanders, it's, it's not going to be anything special. I'm putting out numbers for 23 minutes that he puts out for an entire Ironman or, or less. But anyways, um, looking at the guy that beat me, also, he was doing like 3.6 watts per kilogram, which is ridiculous for a Cat D race. But anyways, the power starts going up, the race is about to start, uh, you just want to make sure you're with that lead group. So, I start up, about 250 watts, and I bring it up right away, just to make sure that I go from whatever I'm in, like 25th place here, all the way to the front of the pack, before we even cross before we go too far. You don't want to get left behind without a draft. So the first few minutes of the race are always, I wouldn't say the hardest, but among the hardest in terms of the raw power you're putting out, you always have to start feeling too fast in a Zwift race. It's, it's not like a real race, a real criterium. But anyways, this is the Wednesday night criterium. It's my favorite race on Zwift. So I'll take you through with me. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing, so I'll skip through to the interesting parts. At this point, I'm just climbing up to the front. So anyways, I've made it pretty far to the front, and as we're going up this hilly section on the cobbles, which are ridiculously loud, um, I make my move to make it to the front pack, so I'm not wasting too much of the arrow bonus. Um, so anyways, now I kind of hover around second, third, fourth place for the majority of the race. Uh, I'm not trying to put down anything crazy for now. I'm really just trying to stay back. Sometimes I lead the pack out of courtesy, but just doing my best to not get eaten alive uh, being out of the draft for too long. So, at this point, we're about three miles into the race, as you can see, and I start making what I would consider my first quote-unquote big mistake. So, we start going up the insanely loud cobbles again, um, and I use my featherweight, but I still make a big mistake here, and that is I just start pounding away. I'm doing 400, 500 watts, minimum 300. I'm cranking it out up this hill. For some reason, God knows why, I'm, I'm putting down so much power, when really all I needed to do was probably low 300s. Um, and I come out on top of the hill in first place, and then I sit in the draft, still doing 250 watts for a while. I don't know why I would have done that. That was kind of poor strategy. I mean, was it courteous to take the draft for a bit? Maybe. But I don't know what I was doing. Maybe I was trying to create a breakaway or something, but I, I don't think I thought that through much. From now on, I, I would definitely stay back and not stay in the front of the race or, you know, um, crank my way up the hill at 500 watts. So this guy in front of me, M. Glenn, he's going to be the one uh, that ends up taking the, the win in this race. And I think that's in large part because A, he's probably a better rider, and B, he's not doing things like I'm doing here, which is sitting in front of the draft right after I've been in first place and cranked up a hill. I need to chill out when I'm in the front. I, I just power my way up that hill, and I'm probably going to skip forward in this next scene you're going to see is me doing the same thing again. All right, so as I said, same thing again. Watch this. I'm coming up towards the hill. I don't even have a power up this time, and here I go cranking out 400 watts going into first place briefly and this guy starts surging up ahead and he doesn't even end up beating me but he's going crazy and I, I still have to stay in second place doing more power than I needed to and of course then I make it to the top and I'm still doing nearly 400 watts for some reason when I could really sit back as I said M. Glenn wins the race and look he's right there behind me in the camo he's chilling out probably still doing 350 but I'm doing just a little too much each time we go up that hill, and I think that's chipping away at me. So, this is the point. We've got about 1.8 miles left in the race, and things really start to fall apart here. I guess we've been doing 200 watts for a bit. M. Glenn can probably tell, oh, these guys are a little bit tired. I can do better than this. He might feel a little better. Uh, and so, in classic, uh, class D fashion, he rides off at about three and a half, three watts per kilogram, uh, while we're sitting here doing just under three. And you can see he starts getting away, and I don't chase him because in my mind, well, one, I'm exhausted and I don't know if I could, and two, um, this guy's running off and I'm thinking, wow, he just must be wasting his legs, totally going to reel him back in. 
Um, definitely going to catch this guy. So I, I don't think it's too much of a threat because we've only got one lap left and I think he's just making way too early of a breakaway. But as you can see, uh, him up there, he's already got a three second lead on us, four second lead, and he's going through there and he's probably going to get a power up. So things are getting bad quick. All right, so this is the, the finale. Uh, we just went up the hill for the last time. I'm in second place. Um, as you can see, M. Glenn's about 12 seconds ahead, so he, he made a pretty decent chunk of headway. Not as much as I actually thought I, he did, um, looking back on it, but still, he's doing like six, seven watts per kilogram right now. He's near the end of the race. Uh, crazy numbers <laughs> for a uh, Cat D race, so he's, he's 14 seconds ahead now. And I slip into third place, and we're about to round the corner. Uh, that is the, the final end of this race. So we're about to do the final sprint. So we go around this and we do this slightly hilly section. So I'm just trying to hang on at this point. I'm trying to put down the power, obviously. I'm, I'm pretty wasted at this point, but I'm just trying not to fall behind. I'm trying to stay in that third, fourth place. And here I make a kind of big mistake. Too early I start sprinting. Um, and I get to second place, when really I should have been in probably third, fourth. And we're rounding this corner, and this guy, uh, G. Pa Palevo, he gets ahead, and I'm like, shit. And so I just start putting down the power as fast as I can. So I go crazy here. I'm doing 600 watts, 650. I think he won, but then we cross, and second place. And then I screamed out, yeah, so fast that my, uh, dog freaked out and ran away from me. So that was my race. Uh, 3.4 watts per kilogram, so I'm, I'm solid in rank C. I, I'm not really a rank D racer anymore. But um, despite that, you can't win class anything unless you're putting out like 7 watts per kilogram. So class D it is for now. Thanks for watching.